Hey guys, it's Bren, and I'm back with a review of Sparkling Limeade. Now, this is the last of my original candle haul from the week of January 20th when all the new spring stuff hit. And I saved this for last because I was having a really hard time deciding what I thought about it. Like, I just couldn't make up my mind. Um, so, first of all, I'll say that it's not what I expected, really, as far as the scent goes. The scent notes just say a sophisticated touch of citrus, this fragrant blend of juicy limes, sparkling water, and a hint of sugar quenches your thirst for spring. And so I expected it to smell like limeade, but to me, there is lime in it, but the lime is not the kind of lime that you'd want to consume, eat or drink. It's a very, it's realistic. It's not sweet at all. It is nothing like tequila lime cupcake. But it's also not really like the sour, pulpy, edible part of the lime. To me, it's almost a little bitter, kind of like the zest or the rind of the lime, like the white part. Um, so realistic, but not it, there's maybe a little bit of sourness in there, but not a whole lot. And so it's kind of a good fresh scent, but not not like limeade, and again, not anything that I would consider edible. And then the other portion of this candle, what else I'm getting from it, which is not in the description, but I'm getting a big like green element. And you can see on the label, there is some kind of plant going on here. I smell a lot of that, a very leafy... Um, plant like you know the same kind of thing as you would get in the green grass candle or even like a little bit in like the palm leaves candle a very green note and it's to me this candle is like two-thirds that two-thirds of a clean plant type smell and then like a third lime and it's funny because I had this burning I think it was just yesterday and I burned it a few times before that and it never really clicked with me but yesterday I was burning it I left I came I blew it out I left I came back like four hours later, and when I walked in here, I was like, wow, it smells like raw, like, green beans, like a vegetable, like a raw, fresh, you know, and they're still crisp and you can snap them, green bean scent, and then it hit me, this candle smells to me, in a way, like the snap peas candle, which I smelled in the store, never bought it because that wasn't really my thing, but I would not be surprised if this candle was like a version of snap peas but with lime put in because that's kind of what I've decided it smells like now. And so, I mean, if that sounds interesting and good to you, pick it up. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you do have this one. It's been out for a little bit now and it's available everywhere. So I'm curious to hear your thoughts too and if I'm crazy or not by saying it kind of smells like snap peas in a way. Again, with lime. So it's not like a repackage. I'm not saying that at all. But... It could be like that was a starting point for this candle or something. Something about it is very green vegetable planty. And like I said, I get that even more than the lime. I'm going to do a wallflower review next and a little preview for that. I feel like the wallflower is the other way around. It's more lime, less planty, and I kind of like that better. Uh, but this isn't bad. And again, that's why I'm saying I keep going back and forth about it. As far as strength and throw goes, this is also kind of an uh, interesting instance. Usually those things go together. If a candle is really strong, uh, then it usually reaches, the scent reaches further. And if it's not strong, the scent doesn't. This one, though, I would say it's medium on strength, kind of in the middle. But it's actually throwing really far. It's just the scent isn't that intense. So while you have a 5 maybe for strength, uh, I would give it almost like an 8, maybe even 8.5 for throw because I'm smelling the scent like when I, you know, way around the corner and walking out of my bathroom. Um, so maybe that's, you know, just mine, but that's what I was getting from it. And like I said, I came home four hours later and I could still smell it, although the lime I couldn't smell when I came home. It was just that plant scent that was left. So it is like a fresh kind of clean smell. Uh, I don't think it smells like cleaner, um, but it is kind of springy, but not what you would expect from a candle called Limeade, at least not what I would expect. Um, it could be a little tartar, limier. I would like it more if it smelled like the pulp of the lime. Um, maybe even a little sweetness needs to be in there. There's really no sweetness at all. But I think I'll keep this one. I'm not planning on returning it or anything, but I don't know that I'll be getting any more. I am going to get some more of the wallflowers, though, because like I said, I like those a little bit better. That review will be next, um, and I'm sure I'll have more candle reviews, too. I just need to go buy more, and that's no problem, right? <laughs> so I'll see you all later.